Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK here. Um, today I'm going to do a, a really quick video on um, basically updating the screen firmware. So in the uh, Cobra Max community for, uh, Facebook group, I noticed that people were discussing updating the actual style of the screen. So as you know, this is how the stock looks. Um, it's the light colored, any cubic, um, very bland. Um, it you know it does what it's supposed to do um, but the actual screen is very bright um, as you can see so the firmware that I'm going to be uploaded onto this really just dulls it down and makes it slightly more colorful and uh, taking away the monochrome sort of look to it so I will drop the information into the description um, and it gives a, a guide and instruction on how to actually carry out that now, when you're doing any updates for the firmware, so if you're updating the firmware for the machine itself, you would use this port here, this SD card port, which is your printing port. But underneath the screen, which you very rarely need to use unless you're updating the actual um, screen firmware, there's a little port just on the right hand side here. That's what we're going to be using to, uh, today. So I've already compiled the um, information onto my SD card. Now what you need to do is wipe everything off your SD card. It needs to be completely blank. It also needs to be a reliable SD card. Um, and as you can see this, like I say, we can go to the system about and the UI version is the Anycubic 2022-0510. Now I recently updated that and I'm using the Cobra Max version 2.8.7 firmware, which is actually newer than their website. Now, this was shared to me also by the community. Um, now, if you're not part of the Anycubic Cobra Max community, I would uh, suggest joining. Um, they're on Facebook, just search that up. Um, loads of helpful guides and uh, amazing people that help out on there. Now, um, what we need to do, like I say, there's a simple description in the, in, in the actual uh, file, which I'm going to drop in the description. Um, it gives a step-by-step -step instruction, so I'm not going to explain it now. But very simply, remove everything off your SD card and move the folder onto there. Make sure it's the only thing. Now, what we want to do is make sure the computer, the actual printer is off. So we're going to flick the switch, make sure it's completely off. And then we're going to put the SD card into the slot here, which you should just about make it out. Now... I don't use this often, but I believe, let's get this right, it needs to be faced down. It's very, very awkward, so actually let's turn it around. It looks like it could possibly go this way. So gold strips up, and you hear a little click. So it's actually in there. Um, and the moment of truth. So as I'm updating this, this is the first time I'll be seeing this change. Okay, and so what we want to do is um, now switch it back on now that we put the SD card in. So what it's going to do now is just boot up. So flip the switch. You'll hear some bleeping. And you see it's compiling all the firmware. Um, this gives it like a process of where we are. So it's loading all the bin files currently. So we'll just wait, it, it could take up to a few minutes. And then you see it's doing a bit more and now it's come up with end. So um, the SD card process just gives a detail to say where it is right now. So. Now we can't do anything with this now until we turn it off, but when you turn it off, you need to make sure before you turn it back on that you remove the SD card. So we're gonna do that. Let's turn it off and remove the SD card and put that aside. Just put it up here. And this is a moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Okay, so there you can see, um, we have now upgraded the um, screen firmware. So it's um, a little bit more um, colorful and the monochrome was very boring. 
Um, so this was bought by someone in the community, like I say, in the description. Um, there'll be a link to actually find that and how you can update it. Um, the instructions follow that to a T. So you will need to um, download the file, the folder, um, uh, extract that, um, and then you want to remove from that a um, folder within that and move that onto your SD card, make sure there's nothing on there. But like I say, follow the instructions that will give a much more detailed um, way of actually carrying out this. And as you can see, very simple, five minute job. Um, and now we have a much more colorful um, screen. Um, it would also help with it being, you know, bright at night time. So you've got the control, so it's a bit more um, looks to it. So it's, it's not really gonna change the actual functionality of the UI, but it's more of like an aesthetic sort of change. Um, yeah, I'm liking it much better. So it's totally your choice. You can go back to stock if you need to. You can get that off the um, Cobra Max website. Um, but yeah, I like it. Something different and also it's not so bright. Um, and that's Phil from 3DP UK. Like I say, follow the instructions in the description. Um, it will send you uh, the link straight to the website where you need to get that, which is GitHub, and you can download from there. Take care, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Phil from 3DP UK.